Hello and welcome to Van Life Devotions. We hope that you've been enjoying this season's focus on ordinary Christians, Aussie Christians, that have made a significant impact on society. Well, today's story is of one remarkable woman. Eva Burrows was born in Newcastle in 1929 and she then became world leader of the Salvation Army. What an incredible achievement. This is her story. Eva was born during the height of the Great Depression. Her parents were officers in the Salvation Army and so life was centered around church activities such as performing music in the streets, singing hymns and attending services. Eva attended Brisbane High School and won a scholarship to the University of Queensland where she graduated with an arts degree in 1949. Eva felt the call of God to be a teacher and missionary in Africa. In fact, in her words, I almost had that kind of feeling as if God was pushing me in my back. In 1951 and 52, she attended a Salvation Army Youth Conference in London, where she was invited to do the training with the Salvation Army in London while studying at university, completing her teacher's training. But that calling was still there. And so for many years, Eva worked in Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe, as a teacher, and then eventually becoming a teacher of teachers. Under her leadership, she helped establish the secondary school system. Recognised for her leadership capabilities, Eva went back to London and taught at the Salvation Army's International College for Officers from 1970 through to 1975, as first as an assistant principal, but then as the principal. Her leadership influence grew as she became leader of the Salvation Army, first in Sri Lanka in 1977, Scotland in 1980, and then in Australia in 1982, the first woman territorial commander in Australia. It was in Melbourne that she established a program for unemployed youth. Then, in 1986, Eva travelled back to London to attend the High Council meeting, which was tasked with appointing a new general. That's the world leader of the Salvation Army. Eva sensed that she would be nominated, even though a woman had not been nominated for 50 years. The High Council then elected Eva to be the general and world leader of the Salvation Army. Under the Army's constitution, her five-year period in office should have ended in July 1991. However, the movement's senior leadership requested Eva to serve an additional two years. Such was the respect that she had. During her time as general, Eva visited 62 countries and made contact with people at all levels of society. She met with Queen Elizabeth, the Pope, Mother Teresa, and the presidents of the United States and Czechoslovakia. She initiated and implemented a far-reaching restructure of administration of the movement internationally. And after the collapse of communism, she led the Salvation Army back into Russia, which was banned since 1912. Eva was a leader of faith and conviction. I'm strong on truth, honesty, integrity, and I will not jeopardize that, even for fame or popularity. Eva would not jeopardize the truth, honesty, nor integrity for personal gain. One of the best advice for any person any leader. The Apostle Paul was the same as he told the church at Corinth. Indeed, we are giving careful thought to do what is right, not only before the Lord, but also before people. Leadership is not just about competency, but also about character. In 1999, when I was pastoring at Monash City Church of Christ in Glen Waverley, Victoria, I had a vision for a month of celebrations that included guest speakers. I was new to Melbourne, and so I asked Dad if he knew any world-class Christian leaders living in Melbourne. He quickly suggested Eva Burrows. I invited her to come and speak at my church. 
She was a wonderful speaker who radiated warmth, gentleness, yet strength. No wonder she was affectionately known as the People's General. For Eva, it was all about God and people. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the life and influence of Eva Burroughs. Our world is crying out for more leaders of utmost integrity. With our own life, enable us not to jeopardise truth, honesty, nor integrity for personal gain. O oh God, preserve us who travel, surround us with your loving care, protect us from every danger, and bring us in safety to our journey's end. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen.